this is James from Paranormal Papers. This time we're looking at Whaley House, a historically significant building in San Diego that's believed to be one of the most haunted houses in America. The house was built in the 1850s by Thomas Whaley. As well as serving as the Whaley family home, it also grew to contain a county courthouse, a granary, general store, school, ballroom, and interestingly, the first commercial theatre in San Diego. Sadly, a series of terrible tragedies took place over the years. First, the Whaley's youngest son died of scarlet fever. Shortly after this, the general store was burned in a fire. These traumatic events prompted Thomas to move himself and his family to San Francisco, where they stayed until their return to the house in 1868. It was around this time that the house became the location of the courthouse, the theatre was set up and the general store was re-established. Unfortunately for the family finances, the merchants abandoned the old town where the house was in favour of the new town and the Whaley's business really struggled. Adding to these woes, while Thomas was away in business, armed men held his wife Anna at gunpoint and they made off with the court records. Two of the Whaley's daughters were married in the house, but Violet, the younger of the two, did not have a happy marriage. Violet was distraught after her marriage ended, so full of despair and pain that she eventually resorted to shooting herself in the chest. This, combined with the hangings executed on the land before the house was built, meant the building began to develop a somewhat sinister reputation. Lillian, the Whaley's youngest daughter, was the last family member to inhabit the house. She lived there right up until 1953. And by 1960, Whaley House had been turned into a museum. In all, six members of the Whaley family died in the house. Over the years, there have been many reports of paranormal activity at the house. What follows is a summary of the most common ones. A few years before he bought the land, Whaley had witnessed on the site the death of a convicted criminal called James Robinson, also known as Yankee Jim. Yankee Jim had been sentenced to death for grand larceny and he was hanged from the back of a gallows attached to a wagon. The grisly event did not deter Whaley from building his house on the very same spot. However, soon after the Whaley family moved in, they began to hear footsteps and other eerie noises in different parts of the house. Thomas Whaley believed these mysterious noises were made by Yankee Jim himself and random footprints were also attributed to the deceased criminal. Lily and Whaley believed Yankee Jim's spirit was still there many decades later in the 1950s. Some members of the Whaley family do not seem to want to leave the house. When the museum opened, visitors began to report seeing Thomas and Anna Whaley. One visitor, a little girl, was found waving to someone in the parlour. When asked, she said she was waving to a man, but the adults in the room could not see the man she described. Anna is often seen downstairs or in the garden, in the 1960s, Regis Philbin, a TV personality, stated that he saw Anna as an apparition. The Whaley's had a terrier, and some people have said that they've seen a small terrier-like dog running through the hall and into the dining room. The dog, known as Dolly, has brushed up against some visitors and has even been known to lick bare legs, though mercifully it appears to be house-trained. Visitors who have sworn they were alone have repeatedly reported the sound of a baby giggling or crying. People have said they could smell Anna's signature French perfume and Thomas's cigar smoke. Folks have seen lights going on and off all by themselves. The crystals in the music loom lamp have been seen to move of their own accord. Workers have spotted shadows appearing and disappearing that they can't explain. Others have seen figures at the upstairs windows when the house has been closed up at the end of the day and have attested to seeing curtains moving in rooms even though the doors were sealed shut. Have you visited Whaley House? Did you experience any paranormal activity? Have we missed something important? Let us know in the comments. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and hit that notification bell so we don't feel ghosted. This has been James from Paranormal Papers. We hope to see you again soon and please do sleep well tonight.